everyone and this is Adele and I'm from Animal Tactics and today we're going to look at loose lead walking. Now who out there has a dog that continually pulls when you're outdoors on a walk? Hands up, that was me, that was this dog, constantly pulling. It didn't matter what we tried, what lead or piece of equipment we used, she would consistently pull every single time and I would come home feeling like I had actually just ran a marathon and that my arms had been ripped out of their sockets. So, um, the way that I progressed this, is actually I did get the professional help of an obedience trainer, I won't lie. Um, it was hard, she is a very leash reactive dog. So it has taken quite a bit of effort and a bit of time um, and I would highly recommend that you start loose lead walking from when you're when your dog is a pup, ideally. However, that doesn't mean that they can't be trained once they turn into a teenager or a mature adult canine. So with Misty, what we has, have uncovered is that using a general harness or a collar and a lead or a correction chain was not quite working for her. So the number one thing that you probably wanna do is find out what piece of equipment works for your dog. We tried the no pull harness, that didn't work, unfortunately. We also tried um, a correction chain and we also tried a regular leather collar and a lead. Um, but all of those things she did continue to pull. Um, so we found that um, with Misty being a working dog, uh, natural instincts were to round up, fetch, chase and retrieve. Um, so, and that's perfectly fine, that's genetic. So rather than trying to hone in and abolish that behavior, what we've done is used it to our advantage and we've used it to train Misty. So I actually utilize a slip collar um, and with these they're placed up behind their ears. Um, but again, it's up to you, personal preference and what works for your dog. So simply to start off with, I'm gonna get Misty to come around in a heel position. Misty, are you ready? Come round. Good girl. Right, so having her up here next to my side, I'm going to use my opposite hand to hold the handle of the lead. And she's going to be here just next to me. I'm gonna just practice walking up and down, just a few motions. Now, if she starts to pull in front of me, I'm going to stop and walk the other way. And turn, and we're going to keep walking. And if she pulls in front of me again, I'm going to stop and turn the other way. And again, if she walks in front of me, she's now got the hang of it. She realises that she needs to be here right alongside my side. Fantastic. Another alternative is to have a treat in this hand that is closest to your dog. Having that treat down here, let them sniff and smell that treat. That will hold them here in this position and you can lure your dog to exactly the position that you want them in, which is right here along your side. Now what you need to establish as the handler is do you want that dog right here up against your leg, whether it's on the right side or the left side, doesn't matter at this stage, or are you happy for them to walk a couple of feet out in front of you? I prefer Misty right here next to my side. She's aware of that now, and as you can see, she's focused on that. So again, using my lure, I'm gonna have her here, and I'm just going to walk with her with my hand right down here along my side that she's following and have a look at that beautiful loosely walking. We can start to phase that out. Again, if she pulls out in front of me, I'm gonna stop and turn and walk the other direction. Um, you will also hear some other trainers, and this is not a wrong technique, that actually stop and stand. Make like a tree, they say, then your dog will pull out to that lead, realize they're not getting to where they want to go and then come back to you. Like, what's wrong? Owner, why are we moving? Why can I not pull? If your dog keeps pulling, um, especially if they're in an outdoor environment um, where there's a lot of distractions, what I would recommend is coming back in the house, start off indoors, have that lead on your dog indoors all day, every day. Use it, pick it up, walk around the house with your dog. If they've got it on, they know that they're working, they're with you. Then start progressing out into your backyard, a less distracting environment, not as um, quiet as indoor the house, depending obviously on your family situation and who you live with. In my backyard, it's quite quiet here. We don't have many dogs as neighbors, so she's not distracted by that. 
farm. Once she's doing that in the backyard, we then progress to the front yard, just up and down our car, our driveway, in our carport, around our front yard. We then progress to just walking up and down in front of the neighbor's house to eventually walking up and down the street and then eventually going on a nice walk. So it is a long process. Um, it can take a number of weeks, um, but it is totally doable. So lead, no pressure. Is he come? Come on. I would practice walking in lots of directions, turning the other way, nice loop lead, loop lead. Turn in all different directions. You can do squares, you can do circles. You can go round, forward and back. Around, forward and back, turn. Square. Fantastic. Okay, so that's loose leaf walking. I would continue to do that inside your premises in a very low distracting environment, especially if you've got a dog that pulls. Then convert it, take it outside, outdoors where there's more distractions and slowly advance and get to a further distance that you can walk with your dog quite comfortably. Have fun, enjoy. Um, if you've liked this tutorial, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching today and we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.